The first person is 28-year-old David Gillum, an administrative assistant at Northeastern Oklahoma State in Tahlequah. The second person is his driving instructor, Bill Cochran, a 30-year veteran of teaching others to drive. Together, the two men have, in the past year, taught Gillen to drive a car with his feet. Gillen, handicapped since he contacted polio at the age of four, was very skeptical when the driving teacher first approached him with the idea of being able to drive despite his handicap. Yes, because uh, I'm sure he's met a lot of defeats in his lifetime, and he didn't want to encounter another one. And um, I really had to talk him into learning to drive. He wasn't too anxious. He could visualize, I think, the freedom it would give him. But at the same time, he was a little bit skeptical. Yes, I was a little at first, but I decided the freedom would be worth it if I could try. So I decided might as well see what would happen. It has not been easy or inexpensive to convert the 1977 Olds Cutlass. Thus far, it has cost about $2,300 to convert the automobile so that Gillen could drive it. Overcoming physical barriers weren't the only problems that confronted Gillen. The main problems were developing self-confidence and uh, just trying not to be afraid. and Those were it, mainly. And then getting the car to work the way it's supposed to. And those three are the biggest problems. Uh, Self-confidence is a major factor in driving, I think. When Gillen passes his driver's test, which his instructor says he will have no problems with sometime in the next two weeks, he will be the first person ever licensed in Oklahoma to drive with his feet. Right. For Total A Tulsa, with the Sky Roamer crew in Tahlequah, Bill Mitchell reporting.